Hi everybody, welcome to my cozy cottage. Thank you so much for stopping by. My little pup Journey says hello too. Today we are doing a Halloween DIY. I hope you enjoy it. With all that being said, let's begin. Here we go. Okay, so this is a picture I took of a cute Joanna Parker ghost. Okay, and I want to try to make like a dupe on a little ghost using inexpensive decor products I found from Dollar General. So what I did was I, looking at this picture, I practiced on my lunch break and I tried to draw a sketch. So this is what I worked on on my lunch to see if I can make something similar. So I, I think the real part I love about Joanna Parker is the eyes. They're so cute and the little cheeks. I just think that they are adorable, which is why I wanted to do this a little ghost like this because I tend to like whimsical decor. So so let me show you how when I start did this project, this was with pencil. So I when I found this ghost at Dollar General, let me tuck it down just a little. I loved it and the reason why was because it had this little point. And it's just like fluffy at the bottom. But it was the shape of this that I liked. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to paint this, but actually for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna make a new face on the back. And I thought the shape of this was perfect to do a Joanna Parker version on this little ghost. And then I'm gonna put a cute little bow tie and I'll have a cute little inexpensive, at least like the similar look as Joanna Parker, for only a couple dollars. So what I'm going to do is do like I did on my sketch, but I'm going to start with pencil. So this way, if I make a mistake, that's the time to fix it. And I can erase, I'm hoping that that's gonna work. And then I'm actually gonna trace over it with permanent marker. So let's see how this pencil works. I'm gonna do it here and see about how this pencil works. I'm hoping it will work. So basically the best part of this yep it kind of shows up lightly I don't know if it's gonna show on camera but I can see it enough for me to be able to trace when I make it so I did make a little mistake there I'm gonna erase okay so I know it's gonna be hard to see on camera but I did them with pencil and I'm happy with the shape so now I'm gonna go over that with a permanent marker so that's the next step so these are the permanent markers I got because basically for the ghost, I just need black and I noticed the cheeks on the ghost are orange. So this is what I'm gonna use to add the little bit of color. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to show this where you can see, but I'm gonna trace over the eyes I made. And it's kind of nice because it's kind of light, so I'll probably go over it twice. So there's one eye. Two. And that's my favorite part of her eyes. So it's two teardrops. And they're pretty big. So what I'm going to do next on the teardrop is basically, if you see on the eye, it's kind of got a little curve. And then what they did was left two little dots inside with no hole. So I'm going to do that now. I'm actually not even going to use the pencil. I'm just going to go for it with the marker. Oh boy. Here we go. So I did one like that. And now I'm going to do the other. Okay. Now, I noticed that the middle kind of has like a little dot. So I'm going to kind of leave like a little circle in the middle like this. And I'll show it. So that that has no color. And now I'm going to color around them. So basically all the rest is black. And we'll see how that goes. And if for some reason I made a mistake, I could always add a dot of white paint. But I think it's looking pretty good. Ok, 
Okay, so there's the little eyes. Now, one of the things I love about Joanna Parker, and I'm actually gonna outline the teardrop too, a little darker, just so it really shows up. So I'm gonna go over it again to make it a little darker. Which is the top part. Okay. And what I love about her stuff is the cute eyelashes. I think they're so cute. So that is definitely an important part of the, and I'm going to trim around the bottom here, an important part of the Joanna Parker is those cute little eyelashes. I think those eyes look pretty good, cute. <clears throat> so now I'm going to add the eyelashes. So even those, I'm trying to show here, had like a little point and then a little top here. One. And then the other one kind of went down. Each, from what I saw, had just two little eyelashes. And I'm going to put them on this side. So I was going to do pencil, but I decided, nah, let's just go for it and do them freehand. One. And two. Cute little eyelashes. So there's the eyelashes. It already looks so cute. Next, it has the cutest little button nose. And that's another part that I think makes them look so cute. So it's a little tiny oval. So I made the cute little nose and I'm gonna color inside it. And like I said, this is all with permanent marker. So there we go. There's the eyes, there's the nose. Now another part that I liked about the ghost, it has cute eyebrows. So we're gonna put two cute little eyebrows. So one up here, and one up here. It's looking cute. I'd love to know in the comments what you think. Next is that cute little button mouth. Now, when I looked, the one that I saw had a circle mouth. So I'm just going to draw a perfect circle. And I'm going to color it in. There's the mouth. Next, even the little detail of a chin is on this. So I'm going to put a little, which I may fix this mouth just a little bit. It has a little chin on the bottom. Okay. And the last part. I also may darken the eyes, is the cheeks. Now I'm not gonna use black for the cheeks because I wanna use the color orange. I don't want any black to be outlining because I want it to look like it was painted. So I'm gonna put two oval cheeks on the side. Okay, I have to put it down here so that I have a firm surface. And basically it was just two cute little orange ovals and this orange marker is coming out light which is fine because I'll be able to darken it after I do them both so here's one and I'm gonna do the other and then to make them a little brighter I'll just go over them a couple times Okay, and that's my little 
ghost. Next, we're going to add the bows, and I may put one more coat of orange, and I may do another coat around the eyes. Next, we'll do the bow. Now, for the bow, I definitely want this cute Harlequin ribbon, so that's what I'm going to use. And I have these cute little hooks. So that is my plan to hang this cute little ghost on one of these hooks. 